Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can customize bulleting or numbering on a per paragraph basis by selecting the paragraph or paragraphs within the text containing object to change first, or you could select the entire object and change all bullets or numbering for all text within the text containing object. Now once you've made your selection, you can then apply custom bullets or numbering. You can click the drop down button that appears next to either the bullets or the numbering buttons within the paragraph group on the home tab in the ribbon, and then select the bullets and numbering command to open the bullets and numbering dialog box. Depending upon which button you clicked, you'll see either the bulleted or the numbered tab within this dialog box. You can click on either tab to switch between them. Let's examine the options that are available on the bulleted tab first. Start by clicking on the bullet that you want to replace with your own custom bullet from the listing shown. Next decide if you want a picture bullet or a character bullet. If you want to use a character bullet then click the customize button to open the symbol dialog box. Here you can use the font drop down to select a bullet font like Webdings or Wingdings. Then click on the character that you want to use as your bullet from the listing shown. At that point, you can then click the OK button to set that character as your new bullet and return to the bullets and numbering dialog box. Next select what percentage of the size of the adjacent text you want your bullet to be by using the size spinner. Then use the color drop down to set the color of the bullet. You can then click OK to apply the bullets to the list items that you selected. Now if you wanted to insert a picture bullet instead of a character bullet, then in the bullets and numbering dialog box on the bulleted tab, click the picture button instead of choosing the customize button in order to open the picture bullet dialog box. Next, click on one of the bullets in the list of picture bullets available to you in order to select it. Then click the OK button. That will close both dialog boxes and apply your picture bullet to your selected list items. You can also click the numbered tab in the bullets and numbering dialog box to customize a type of numbering to apply to your selected list items. You can start by selecting the numbering or sequential lettering style that you want to customize from the listing shown on the numbered tab. Below that, you can then set what percentage of the adjacent text that the numbering should appear to be by using the size spinner. You can then select a color for the numbering from the color drop-down. You can even choose at what number or letter to start at, and then click the OK button to apply the numbering to your selected list items. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.